In this example, we want to determine the intervals of the domain over which this function is increasing, decreasing, and constant. So don't forget what I said about if you see in, on the homework or the test, um, the ordered pairs are labeled. Uh, don't let those ordered pairs throw you off. You must always keep your attention on the X number line because those are the numbers that are going to determine uh, the intervals of increase, decrease, or constant. Sure, yes, your Y values, um, if they are decreasing, will go down. And if it's increasing, your Y values will go up. And if it's constant, your Y values will stay the same. But the numbers for determining the intervals over the domain are your X values. So let's start with increasing. Where do you see the function increasing? Okay, so if you said it starts, remember, if we imagine this to be a roller coaster, if it's increasing, the roller coaster will start going up at negative 2, keep going up, 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 and it will stop going up right there. And looking at the X numbers, that would be 1. So it started going up at negative 2, and it stopped going up at 1. That's the intervals of increase. Let's go to decrease. So where is this roller coaster falling? So because we have arrows here on this end, it's going to be coming from negative infinity. Um, and it's going to keep going down, 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 down. And it stops going down right there at negative 2. Where is our graph constant? Remember, constant is the term where it stays the same. The horizontal line does not increase, does not decrease. So we can see here that it starts right here at 1. And it's going to go on forever to positive infinity. And there you have your intervals of increase, decrease, and constant.